For me at least, this has kind of been a long time coming. As many, many of you guys know by now, text-to-image generation with AI is very much possible, and it's very awesome. We've got Stable Diffusion, Dolly 2, Midjourney, all really fantastic text-to-image generators, and they can produce beautiful imagery. I mean, one look at Playground AI's homepage, and you can see how fantastic text-to-image has become. The next logical step from text-to-image generation, of course, is text-to-video. However, we haven't really seen much text-to-video thus far. In my Discord server, which you guys should join, by the way, I get tons and tons of questions coming in. What's the best text-to-video generator out there? Where can I find text-to-video? Well, most of the time the answer is there are some text-to-video previews, but there's nothing concrete out yet. The best we could really offer in the video space would be stuff like generating stable diffusion videos by interpolating different stable diffusion images, or actual video generators like COG video that aren't really particularly great. This is sort of like text-to-video, but it's super, super primitive, and it takes forever to generate. And you can see it's like baby steps towards text to video, but it's just not really all there yet. But if you guys do want to try this out, I will link it down below. This is known as COG video. And of course, for those interested, we can also talk about the future, what we will see one day, but don't have access to yet. And that would be stuff like Google's Imogen video, which looks extremely promising, as you can see from all of these really cool, but kind of creepy videos. You know, these are high frame rate, very specific videos generated from a text prompt. And this is a fun website to take a look at. I'll link it down below. And we've also got stuff like Meta's Make a Video here, where we can see a bunch of very, very similar examples. So yeah, this is all text to video preview stuff. We can't actually use it. The big news today is that Runway ML plans on changing that very, very soon. As they say, generative AI is taking its next big step forward, and they're introducing this thing called Gen 1, which is a brand new AI model that uses language and images to generate new videos out of existing ones. So it's not exactly text to video, but it's pretty darn close and it's extremely cool. We have got to check this out. By the way, you can sign up for early access to this thing with the link down in the description below. I'll let Runway ML introduce their own AI model and then we'll go back through and really analyze this. Image generation models have taken the world by storm. It's now possible for anyone to turn their ideas into images using nothing but words. The explosion of creativity these models unleashed was years in the making. In 2021, Runway introduced Latent Diffusion, an AI system that was able to generate realistic images using an improved image generation technique. And in 2022, Stable Diffusion, a further improved version of Latent Diffusion that caused a tidal wave of creativity and mass adoption of the technology. Today, Runway is excited to introduce the next step forward in generative AI, Gen 1, a video generation AI system that can efficiently generate video in any style, all while retaining quality and flexibility. Gen 1 is able to realistically and consistently apply the composition and style of an image or text prompt to the target video, allowing you to generate new video content using an existing video. We call this approach video to video, and we're incredibly excited to share a few early use cases. Stylization mode. Transfer the style of any image or prompt to every frame of your video. Storyboard mode. Turn mockups into fully stylized and animated renders. Mask mode. Isolate subjects in your video and modify them with simple text prompts. Render mode. Turn untextured renders into realistic outputs by applying an input image or prompt. And customization mode. Unleash the full power of Gen 1 by customizing the model for even higher fidelity results. Gen 1 represents a pivotal step forward in generative AI, one that brings us meaningfully closer to realizing the future of storytelling. Here is Runway's introduction page where we can actually take an even deeper look into this. They're actually going to be releasing a research paper soon, which should go a little bit more in depth on what this is all about. As you can see, they have that claymation example in the background, which honestly was shockingly good. I think you guys can agree. All of it was pretty crazy. It's a very, very interesting concept here because when we think of the natural evolution of, you know, text to image, it's, oh, text to video. Well, they're offering video to video. So what you do is you just take your phone or something and then film the general gist or the general idea of something. And you could use anything as a prop and then use AI to then recreate what you actually want to see. 
So it's a very interesting concept and it seems like their model, their custom Gen 1 model here is actually working pretty darn well. And then they have an interactive demo here where you can see all they had to do was film a train in real life and they can turn it into any kind of train they could ever think of. Completely change the art style, make it look like it's an animated film. Really insane technology. This is going to allow the average everyday user to create what their imagination holds. I think with video generation, they kind of have the right idea. When you're trying to creatively express an idea in your head, you can envision it in your head before it actually exists out in the world. By using the video to video method, it's actually a strategic advantage in giving the creative user more creative flexibility at the end of the day. Because I could create an entire video with this art style here, with this new art style, that all exists on a train and all I have to do is go to a real train and film everything and everything can be changed later in post. There's so much post-production value, anything can become a prop. Like you could easily turn yourself into some terrifying little animated monster by just filming yourself. And of course, this is not like you need any kind of a fancy camera or anything like that. You just record yourself with your phone and then bam. This is an example that I especially like. This is, you know, showing further how you can just use props to completely recreate scenes. Obviously, this video generation isn't super coherent of a city, but it's good enough and you can totally see where it derived all the information from. Like, you want the big skyscrapers in there and then you slowly zoom and pan in there and it completely generates that shot for you. In a few years, when this stuff gets a little bit more crystal clear, who knows what, you know, the average person sitting at their home could create. You don't even need to go out to create anything super cool. And they actually describe these as different modes. So going back to this one, this is the stylization mode. So you're taking this original video and you're completely giving it a new style with a deriving image. And it is very accurate in the way that it's able to pick up what is happening with this derived image. And then this one was storyboard. So this is where you're using mockups to create a fully stylized animated render. And again, this is masking, which is a feature that Runway already has, by the way, but they don't have this transferal yet, where you can just highlight an object in your video and completely edit it in real time. So you're changing this dog's fur. And this one, honestly, I think was the least impressive result out of all of them, but it's nonetheless, it's pretty cool to see. I find this extremely, extremely exciting. This one I also thought was really, really cool. You don't have to be a good animator anymore. You can just create little mock-ups of renders and blender or something like that, and then completely change the end result and make it look even photorealistic at the end of the day. So this one was a really, really cool example that I thought as well. This is you're just turning an untextured render into a completely realistic output by just applying an input image or just a prompt. And apparently this customization is the full power of their Gen 1 model where you get the best results. You actually are training a meta model here with a few little test images and it's completely able to change the whole concept behind a final video based off of those initial images. So this is really, really cool stuff. And it's interesting how accurate it is with the eyes here. If you look at this guy's eyes and the way he turns, really, really interesting. So I think the examples here are incredibly impressive. This is going to be an insane creative tool. Runway ML has been known to provide really, really fascinating products before. So I have a lot of respect for this company, seeing what they've done in the past. And honestly, guys, if this isn't impressing you, you should check out some of the other stuff that they already offer on their website. And we'll go check out those real quick, actually, because I do think for people who don't know about Runway, this is actually important information. This is some really this is a really cool AI company. First thing is for First with Runway, you actually can fully create and use Runway for completely free. So there's a lot of free trialness that goes on here. They're very lenient with letting you see and use how this tech actually works under the hood. They also have integrated Dream Booth, which is really awesome. And they call their version of Dream Booth AI training. They've also got AI magic tools, and this is where all the fun is. They've got the train a portrait generator, train an animal generator, custom generator. They have full AI based background removal, which works really, really fantastic. They've also got, you know, just regular text to image generation. Under the hood, this is definitely stable diffusion based, but it's not bad stable diffusion implementation by any means. They've actually got full erase and replace in painting as well. And this is known as their infinite image, which I would consider true out painting, where you could upload an image in here and then generate with stable diffusion as an editor. And this is really nice. So this is a pretty Dolly 2-esque editing suite that they have here. Text to a 3D texture, which is pretty crazy. 
They have video based in painting, which I covered a while back, and that was awesome to see. And you know, some more video editing esque stuff. But yeah, you can see that uh, Runway ML is definitely a very nice AI company with a lot of tech behind them. You know, this is this is going to be a pretty big deal, and it should be releasing pretty soon because Runway has definitely been known to bring their technology into the mainstream and allow us to actually use it. I would definitely request access. We'll see how quickly they, they give out access to this thing, but it's on its way and I'm very excited for it. Because as we were talking about earlier, text to image is really awesome, but what about text to video or just AI video generation in general, which really seems to be what Gen 1 is trying to encompass here with Runway ML. Gen 1 seems like it's going to be a new kind of tool for the creative person who wants to make videos. It's incredibly exciting and you know, I can't wait to see what the future generations are going to be able to make with technology like this. Crazy animation or special effects won't be limited to multi-million dollar companies pretty soon. Anyone in their house will be able to create stuff like this. And I think more power to the people, more power to the creatives of this world is going to be a good thing. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Links to everything will be in the description and make sure you check out the Discord server. Also, my old Runway ML video will be linked down below for those interested. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.